Roger Dooley, Bra Influence, 100 Ways to Persuade and Convince Consumers with Neuromarketing. Dive into the fascinating world of neuromarketing with the book summary of a bra influence. 100 Ways to Persuade and Convince Consumers by Roger Dooley. Explore the intricacies of the human mind and behavior, and discover how to make your sales pitch more effective by understanding cognitive processes. Learn valuable strategies, from minimizing the pain of purchasing to maximizing customer loyalty, and deploying multi-sensory marketing techniques to capture attention. This summary will help you unlock your potential to create a lasting impact on your target audience and stay ahead in the highly competitive marketplace. Mastering the Art of Pain-Free Selling Everyone experiences buyer's remorse, as purchases can activate the brain's pain center. A joint study by Carnegie Mellon and Stanford University showed that researchers could predict purchase decisions based on brain scans detecting pain sensation. The context, not just the amount of money spent, plays a crucial role in reducing this pain. To sell effectively, sellers need to minimize the pain felt by buyers. Make prices seem like a bargain or at least fair, breaking down the cost and highlighting essential needs rather than unnecessary pleasures. For example, tightwads are less likely to spend on pleasure purchases, but more likely to buy when presented with a practical need, such as relieving back pain. Everyone has experienced that sinking feeling of buyer's remorse. This feeling of regret post-purchase can be more than just emotional, it can physically cause pain. In fact, making purchases can trigger the pain center of our brains. An experiment conducted by researchers at Carnegie Mellon University and Stanford University showed that the pain felt during a purchase could even predict whether or not the participant would choose to buy an item. The context in which the money is spent is just as crucial for the brain's pain center as the amount spent. For example, losing a small amount to a vending machine can be more aggravating than making an expensive purchase like a car. So, how can you sell your product or service to even the most frugal of customers? First, make the price as attractive as possible. Break down the cost into smaller, more manageable figures, making it appear as a bargain or at least fair. For example, if selling a gym membership, reframe the $120 annual fee by presenting it as just $10 per month or 33 cents per day. Next, focus on essential needs rather than indulgent pleasures. By appealing to important requirements, it becomes easier to convince even the tightest of tightwads to part with their hard-earned cash. In a Carnegie Mellon University study, tightwads were more likely to purchase a massage when presented as a solution for back pain rather than a pleasurable luxury. Utilize these strategies to master the art of pain-free selling and ensure your customers feel satisfied with their purchases. Sell through the senses. Drawing interest from potential customers is about more than presenting rational information, it's also about appealing to their senses. Singapore Airlines exemplifies the power of sensory marketing by aligning their brand image with carefully crafted sensory triggers, such as uniforms, fragrances, and services to create a memorable experience. Among the senses, smell plays a crucial role in driving sales, influencing 75% of our emotional reactions, and affecting how we process information and recall memories. To capitalize on this knowledge, consider how your business's sensory environment can be optimized to enhance customers' experiences and attract higher sales. When crafting a sales pitch, remember that captivating your audience goes beyond presenting rational facts and figures. To truly capture their attention, engage their senses, emphasizing the emotional aspect of the human experience. Companies like Singapore Airlines have pioneered this sensory marketing approach, using various sensory cues to influence customers' emotions and experiences. Branding expert Martin Lindstrom identifies Singapore Airlines as an influential player in this field, highlighting their strategic integration of elements such as flight attendants' uniforms, perfumes, and exceptional service quality. These components, while seemingly subtle, have contributed to the company's consistent top rankings in customer preferences. Lindstrom emphasizes the most significant influence on customers, however, is scent. In fact, 
Our sense of smell impacts 75% of our emotional responses. One experiment demonstrated this impact by comparing customers' evaluations of identical Nike shoes in scented and unscented rooms. Of those exposed to the floral scent, a striking 84% rated the shoes higher. Smells can also alter perceptions and memory recall, as a shampoo test that only changed the fragrance led users to believe the product performed better, driving more sales. Thus, the sensory environment critically affects customers' experiences. To leverage this knowledge, evaluate how your clients and customers engage with your business's sensory surroundings. Identify your signature smells, such as leather in shoe stores or coffee in cafes, and ask yourself, is my business's sensory environment optimized for sales? Baby faces, advertising secret weapon. The right image can make all the difference in advertising. Baby faces, in particular, have a magnetic power to capture attention due to our brain's hardwired response to these features and their association with vulnerability. Utilizing a baby's face to direct the viewer's focus toward vital information or products can ultimately encourage engagement with the advertisement and ensure its prominence among countless competing ads. When it comes to advertising, an image can speak even louder than words. However, selecting the most effective image is paramount. Unsurprisingly, faces capture attention, but baby faces possess an unparalleled magnetism. In fact, a study found that the region of our brain responsible for emotions, the medial orbitofrontal cortex, lights up within 150 milliseconds of seeing a baby's face. This strong reaction to baby faces roots in an evolutionary impulse to protect vulnerable infants, boosting their chances of survival. This response extends beyond human babies, as even adults with baby-like features garner attention. Research has shown that men tend to be drawn towards women with youthful characteristics, while women's preferences can be influenced by their ovulation cycle, oscillating between masculine and baby-faced features. Leveraging this psychological tendency in advertising proves incredibly powerful. Incorporating baby faces into adverts is an efficient way to captivate viewers and garner attention. But attentiveness alone is not enough. To maximize the effect of the advertisement, the baby face should be positioned to gaze at the specific elements the audience needs to focus on, such as headlines, products, or crucial information. Usability expert James Breeze emphasizes that human instinct guides us to follow another person's line of sight. Therefore, if a baby face is gazing at us, we look back, if the baby face directs its attention elsewhere, we follow suit. By tapping into this human tendency, advertisements can effectively lead viewers to engage with vital information rather than risk the ad fading into the background noise of countless competing visuals. Cultivating Customer Loyalty The key to business success lies in spending less while selling more, and cultivating customer loyalty can make that possible. Enhancing loyalty could involve drawing attention to alternatives, rewarding customers through loyalty programs, and encouraging positive comparisons with competitors. By weaving these strategies into your business plan, you can save on marketing expenses while fostering devoted customers who continue buying from your brand. Every entrepreneur dreams of spending less while selling more, and one surefire way of achieving this is by nurturing customer loyalty. Loyal customers not only cost less to sell to but also are more likely to make purchases. By tapping into various strategies, businesses can effectively foster a sense of loyalty among their existing customers. A proven technique to improve loyalty is by directing customers' focus towards alternative scenarios or competitors. By highlighting less appealing situations or alternatives, our appreciation for existing circumstances grows stronger. Research from Northwestern University and the University of California, Berkeley, revealed that subjects exposed to counterfactual scenarios, envisioning a world without the United States, experienced higher patriotism levels than those pondering a factual world with the U.S. By drawing parallels, businesses can influence customers to visualize competitors' inferior aspects, thereby fostering appreciation and loyalty towards their business. Rewarding customers also plays a significant role in customer loyalty. Loyalty programs, for instance, engage existing customers, making them feel valued. 
Among various types of loyalty initiatives, the classic punch card system has consistently displayed success. This tangible, straightforward system allows customers to track their progress towards rewards with each purchase, encouraging their continued patronage and brand loyalty. Combining these strategies not only cultivates customer loyalty but also leads to significant cost savings for businesses. By maintaining engaged and loyal customers, companies can reduce their marketing expenses aimed at attracting new clientele. Implementing measures to retain loyal customers ultimately becomes a more cost-effective means of selling more products and enjoying continued business growth. Power of schmoozing in right ear. Effective marketing connects with people on a personal level and engages multiple senses. Schmoozing, or casual conversation, is a powerful tool that fosters respect and trust, increasing the chances of mutually beneficial deals. Meanwhile, speaking into the listener's right ear boosts the likelihood of success, as information delivered to the right ear is more favorably received. Marketing is all about creating an emotional connection by engaging multiple senses, and one way to do this is through the art of schmoozing. Contrary to the belief that cutting to the chase is always best, striking up casual conversations on topics like family, hobbies, or the weather can significantly influence the outcome of business negotiations. A study on a modified version of the ultimatum game, in which participants were allowed to chat beforehand, demonstrated the effectiveness of small talk. Researchers found that talking before the game led to an 83% increase in fair offers, and only 5% of instances resulted in an unsuccessful outcome. Thus, engaging in light conversation establishes mutual respect and trust, improving the prospects of reaching a satisfactory agreement. But what's the secret ingredient to make your schmoozing more effective? Believe it or not, it's speaking into the listener's right ear. Researchers Dr. Luca Tomasi and Daniele Marzoli from the University Gabriele D'Annunzio in Italy found that humans have a preference for information delivered to their right ear, and requests made through the right ear were more likely to be successful. To test this theory, the researchers observed patrons in noisy nightclubs and discovered that most people would speak into each other's right ears. When the researchers applied this finding in practice, they enjoyed higher success rates in obtaining cigarettes from strangers by targeting their right ears. The next time you attend a networking event or dinner party, remember the power of friendly conversation and positioning yourself to the right of the person you're engaging with. This simple strategy will not only enhance your connections but could also lead to greater success in your marketing endeavors. Harness the power of surprise. Children effortlessly catch our attention with their unpredictable actions. Similarly, to boost sales, one can captivate customers using the element of surprise. Researchers have found that our brains naturally predict what comes next and react to unexpected events. Good copywriters capitalize on this by replacing familiar phrases with unexpected words. Surprising images and designs can evoke the same effect. Shakespeare used this timeless strategy by misusing words, which increased brain activity in his audiences and contributed to the ongoing appeal of his works. Altering your copy in this brain-catching manner can grab customers' emotions and attention without any extra cost. Unpredictability sparks interest, and you can use this same concept to captivate your customers. A familiar phrase modified with a surprising word change can cause a strong reaction. Embrace this effective approach, swapping out the expected with the unexpected to draw people in. And don't stop with words, you can create a similar effect with imaginative imagery and designs. What makes this strategy so intriguing? The power behind the element of surprise lies in the brain's hippocampus, which constantly predicts and reacts to unexpected occurrences. This reaction enables you to hold your customer's attention, tapping into their emotions and ensuring that your message sticks. Shakespeare himself exploited this tactic, employing word misusage to heighten brain activity and enhance his work's appeal. By taking his cue, you can craft, brain-catching, copy that sets you apart. For example, if you manage a coffee shop, instead of blandly suggesting it's time for coffee, try urging customers to coffee it up for an added punch. Incorporating unexpected words and designs can foster an emotional connection with your customers and sustain their attention, all without breaking the bank. 
so venture forth and wield the power of surprise to make a lasting impression. As you conclude your journey through Bra Influence, you've learned how to tap into the unique cognitive processes of consumers to effectively persuade and convince them to make a purchase. By understanding the workings of the brain's pain center in relation to buying decisions, you can create powerful marketing strategies through emphasizing bargain and appealing to essential needs. Moreover, you can maximize sales by targeting all five senses, using evocative images and fostering customer loyalty. Become an expert in neuromarketing as you utilize these insights to forge strong connections with your audience and secure a thriving and sustainable business.